This tutorial will explain the process of adding sources to your Dippity topic. When you add sources, Dippity will automatically update your timeline with music, videos, blog posts, etc. from various web sources. So you'll want to log on to your account and then find the Add a Source button. This window should appear, asking you to connect to various sources. You'll see that you can feed in photos, blogs, music, videos, information from various messaging sites, or even other Dippity topics. For example, I could choose to connect to my Tumblr account so that my blog posts will show up on my timeline. To do this, I'll click the button that says Tumblr and then enter in my blog's URL. If I wanted to import information from another blog, I could do this using the RSS feed option. Just go to the blog, click to switch to RSS format, and paste the URL into the space provided. The blog post should show up regularly. This is just another way to feed the information into your timeline, in case your blog site does not appear on the list provided by Dippity. In terms of updates, we check how often the feed typically gets updated, and then try to figure out when to check it next. Regardless, everything should get updated at least once a day. I'm sure you'll find that adding sources is pretty straightforward. Just to give you a few other examples, for YouTube or Vimeo videos, just enter in your YouTube username or Vimeo URL. And to import your tweets, just enter in your Twitter username. As always, you can choose as many or as few sources as you want. When you are finished, click the blue Done button. Your timeline should update automatically with all of your new sources. And remember that you can always go back and follow the same directions to add or remove sources.